Hi everyone, it's Annie with Thrift Blocks and Stuff where we talk a little bit about thrift and sustainable fashion, talk a little bit about Lux, and sometimes we talk a little bit about stuff. So today is a tag video. I was tagged by Winnie B. L. V. Um, fabulous, fabulous lady. So if you haven't seen her channel, please check her out. She's funny, she's entertaining, and she's just like a really good down to heart person. Um, can't say enough. So anyway, uh, the tag is best LV bag ever made. So this was actually a really easy tag and I was excited them to be tagged for it because I thought, oh yes, I can totally tell you what the best LV bag is, hands down, um, in my opinion. And for me, that is the one and the only Alma. Now, I believe it was uh, styled by Gwynny. Yeah, sorry, I have to left to still look at my notes. She did a really, really good um, review in her tag of this bag, so definitely check her um, video out if you wanna learn more about you know the history and like hint Coco Chanel styled it and liked it Louis Vuitton made it for her um, but I'm not going to go into the history since she really did a good job with that instead I thought I'd share a little bit more about how I landed on this bag um, so a couple of things one and I'm in a new shot so let me scoot back a little bit so I can keep this up as I talk about it um, when I first started getting into Louis Vuitton it was really um, I was having like a midlife crisis. I was approaching my milestone birthday and you know, I wasn't married, didn't have kids, hadn't really traveled across the world or you know, to any exciting places that much. And so I don't know what happened. It's just like one day I was on YouTube and I was like, you know, watching videos about handbags and Louis Vuitton always represented travel and adventure to me. So I immediately gravitated toward that particular brand but then i started watching more um, videos about it and people's you know personal experiences with the um well luggage the <laughs> the product you know the purses and i really put thought into what would i want to invest in what would i want you know my um dollars to go toward so naturally i went to the speedy which i think you know it's probably safe to say a good you know, entry level bag into um, Louis Vuitton. It's definitely, you know, categorized at one of their more affordable price points and, you know, affordable, right? I mean, it's still a $1,000. Um, but with that said, when it was my milestone birthday, by this point, this would have been my third Louis Vuitton bag purchase. This is uh, the most recent or recent's the wrong word, the newest uh, bag in my entire collection. Um, let me look really quickly. I believe this may be hard to do because you know how it is to find these date codes. Um, let's see if I can do this on camera. Yeah, you know, they're so tucked. I'll let you know. I'll, 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 I'll look and I'll put a little note in the video about what year it is. Um, but when I found it, so, you know, I'm all about pre-loved and, um, you know, just, you know, being reasonable um, with, you know, purchases and you know, reasonable within my budget, you know, just to be honest. Um, and it was a person on, not YouTube, on eBay, and they didn't have any, any sales. They were a zero, right, for um, their store. And so as an FYI, if you're ever on eBay and you see a luxury item and they don't really have a selling history, that can be a huge flag. I mean, usually that is an indicator that it could be something not trustworthy. Um, and I've experienced that before too, for sure. Uh, but this person was located in Canada and I asked tons and tons of questions, right? Why are you getting rid of the bag? Where did you purchase the bag from? They had the receipt, which doesn't always mean anything. People can totally stage items with receipts and boxes to give it the illusion that it's authenticated and all that stuff, or authentic. Um, so all of those things were there. And I just was asking 8 million questions and she was super, super responsive. And um, for $800, and I'll be honest with you, I don't usually, like to talk about prices, and I know a lot of people don't like to share prices. You can usually look these bags up online and see what they go for on Louis Vuitton. Um, but I only share what I paid for this because that was, I think, I think that's more than 
I mean, it's obviously half the price, even if even less than that. Um, and so I thought, oh, wow, that's a huge savings. And this bag is like practically brand new. So immediately, you know, you wonder, are they breaking up? Like, did they just not like it? Or, you know, maybe they have the means to afford to just, you know, clear out and, you know, awesome. Um, so I uh, took a chance and I purchased it. And I immediately went to the Louis Vuitton store and um, went to get it authenticated just to make sure I hadn't fallen to a scam. And when I got it, there was actually a little like white mark here, kind of like what happens when you um, are wearing like black patent leather shoes or any type of patent leather shoe. And sometimes you get those little white marks. And um, I just took some like, I wouldn't recommend this, but what I did and it worked was uh, this like Estee Lauder eye remover makeup. And I just like took a little dab and took a chance and believe me, I was kind of freaking out. It's like, oh my God, I might be ruining my bag. But it took it off like that, like easy peasy. Um, I don't recommend it because I, you know, I would just because you don't want to ruin your bags and I have never seen anybody ever in the history of my watching of YouTube videos say, oh, use, uh, Estee Lauder eye removal makeup for getting off stains. Yeah, no one has ever said that. So don't do that. I just did and it worked um, that one time. <laughs> that one time, let me just emphasize. So anyway, um, when I was at the Louis Vuitton store, you guys, getting this authenticated, I was so nervous because um, I knew I had taken a gamble. And when I went to the store that time, I had a, um, a sales assistant, Amanda. Um, I don't think she works there anymore, so I think I'm okay to say her name. She is, she is and was awesome. I don't think she's there anymore. But um, she, uh, you know, she looked it over, and then she brought in another person to look it over. So then, here I am sitting afar, and I see them like you know at the counter assessing this, and I'm thinking oh my God, there's something wrong. They're really, really like taking their time with this, like more so than, you know, like what I'm used to. Of course, as I say that I'm thinking, no, not what I'm used to. I think this was the first time I ever went to the Louis Vuitton store to get something authenticated um, because I only had bought two bags before this and those were actually from, uh, I think both of those were from the real real. <sighs> so anyway, you guys, um, it was the hardware they were looking really, really, really closely at the hardware and I'll give you a close up. Um, like it still looks brand new. Like the condition of this bag is immaculate. And I guess it's the hardware that can be the, um, the telling sign of a fake because everything else about this was, you know, spot on. And so I think because I was um, sharing my story of how I found it and what I paid, they were taking even extra, extra, careful like attention to detail to look it over to make sure it was the real deal and so when they came back to me the ladies both exclaimed I you really got the good price where do you find these things like they immediately just became intrigued um and so we actually had a really good nice lovely conversation over it but that is the story of this one and for me I consider it the absolute best <laughs> because, oh, see, the dogs agree. So I'm in the room where the dogs are, so I apologize. Um, I hope that doesn't give anybody like a heart attack. Um, there's a little kid cycling on his bike outside, so they might, they might be getting a little vocal here. Let's see how this goes. Okay, I think we're okay. Oh, that's good, okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So um, what I was gonna say is, I like this one hands down because one, it's classic. And, you know, I'm a history buff um, and I appreciate the origins of things and this, you know, has a history to it, right? And that part I really appreciate. Uh, Two, um, the canvas was the Abine. Um, this was the original canvas that Louis Vuitton came out with and then when it was becoming easily replicated and counterfeited, he went to the monogram. So I was immediately drawn to this because of it being a classic. Uh, because it's in this beautiful Damier bean, which um, I think can really make it look so ladylike and dressy, but it's also versatile because you can make this casual. I've done it. Um, so it goes both ways. And so I think from a point of, you know, investment and you don't know where to put your money, 
not everybody wears these around, at least not in my area. Um, and I, there's like a select few stores in my area guaranteed. It's sort of like, you know, who's, who's, what, do you remember that date? Well, gosh, okay, here I go dating myself again. Do you remember that like game where it's like slug bug and so every single time you saw one of those, um, you know, bugs on the, on the road, you, you slug your friend, your, your, your sibling or what have you. So, um, it's sort of like, you know, slug bug Louis Vuitton version of trying to go to this store. Oh, okay. okay. Sorry about that guys. I had to stop the video. Um, so what I was talking about was, you know, that game slug bug where you like, you know, hit your friend every time you see one of those bugs on the, on the road when you're on a road trip. So that's sort of the game we play when we go to certain select stores in our area because everybody is wearing a Louis Vuitton like it's just kind of weird um and so it's sort of a fun game of like oh I spot you know a Louis and then you know just kind of well we don't hate each other but me and my boyfriend just make note of it and so it's kind of a fun game that we play um but anyway I never really see anybody wearing this particular one um which is interesting because it's it's classic right so it's not like it's an older vintage one that maybe not everybody wears which you know it's certainly my story a lot of mine are the vintage ones um, but no, this is just an absolute classic. It won't ever go out of style. I think that this will always have a good resale value based off of how well you take care of it and the condition of it. Um, this one does have the feet, so it's, you know, the newer one and it has the beautiful gold hardware and, um, absolutely just the best hands down, just, you know, to recap on it, classic, versatile, casual, or dressy won't ever go out of style um will always i think have a really good resale value and it's just gorgeous i just i love this bag and you know i'll even say like that's what drew me to it but i was not yet accustomed to handheld and so while you can wear this you know handheld and it fits really well right there in the crook of the arm as you can tell um sorry my notebook dropped uh Oh, you'll hear the dog's paws if you hear noises. Those are the, the doggies. Um, it also does well as a, as, a, um, as a shoulder bag. or I wouldn't do crossbody, but you can do shoulder bag with it. And I'll show you really quickly. Um, not to make this, you know, a review, but hey, you know why not, right? It's fun to talk about our bags. So it does come with the D-ring, which is another point of versatility. Um, D-ring, you know what I mean? comes with these little loops so that you can, uh, you know, make it a crossbody if you want to. And so another A plus for versatility in my book. And if you don't wear it on the crook of the arm, it will sit well just as a little shoulder bag if you want to. And I'm not in the best angle, obviously, to stand up. Um, I'll kind of show you a little bit so you can see like that, how you can wear it. Um, and I got this, uh, strap here at, um, is it M Muwato? I'll, um, I'll put a link below to them. They're pretty well known too. A lot of people talk and refer to them, but um, it works well as a shoulder bag, I find, because it sits just in the right spot and it, it's not obnoxiously sticking out. Um, so it looks nice with whatever you're wearing. So that is, that is hands down, in my opinion, the best Louis Vuitton bag ever so if you don't have one get one in your collection it's i don't think you would ever regret it this is just a must-have in my opinion so um who i'd like to tag and first of all thank you again um winnie dlv for including me you're so incredibly thoughtful and inclusive of everybody so i just love that about you um and for who i'm going to tag it's a smaller list these are people who i know subscribe to me so i wanted to um give a shout out to Lux bag hand or Lux bag lover, um, she's adorable. So check her out. But I would love to tag her, and then also Carolyn Gray today. Um, just recently discovered her, and she is awesome as well. So I mean, everybody's awesome. But um, you know, these two ladies, I've you know had some exchanges with just in comments, and they've been super sweet. So anyway, I um, I would love to tag them, and it is again the best um, Louis Vuitton bag ever made. So that, that is the Alma, um, in my opinion. Can't wait to see what everybody has to say. I will, um, oh, before I talk to you all later, I'm gonna do what I thrifted. So today, what I am wearing that is thrifted um, is my earrings, these little gold hoop earrings that I'm wearing. Um, I thrifted these at the ARC thrift store. 
And this little uh, sundress that I'm wearing, I thrifted this at the Goodwill outlet and I'm actually thinking I'm gonna cut it and just keep it as a top and not as a dress. Um, I believe it's made by Ann Taylor. And if I do that, I, uh, you know, I may show you how I do it. I'm not a huge, like, seamstress at all. I just, it doesn't stop me, I just do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I wouldn't really do it as a tutorial. I would just kind of do it as a form of creativity and things you can do and I'm sure and I know there's people out there who can do it much better. Um, but yeah, that's why I'm wearing this thrifted. And then for um, jewelry, the, none of this is really thrifted. Um, this is from my grandma. And then um, these two rings here are from my mom. So anyway, um, thank you guys. I'm about to drop the bag. I'm about to drop the bag. Uh, thank you guys. Great to see you and I will talk to you again soon. Okay. Bye-bye.